70 hours a week won't be enough, and I won't get to help raise my baby. My wife will be giving birth any day now. She is taking off three months at her job, unpaid so she can heal and take care of our newborn. I was more than willing to get a second job to make up for the loss in income, and I did. I also got a third. And it's not going to be enough. I make a decent salary at my main job, and I'm trying to supplement our income with lift in the evenings and on weekends, and six days a week I work three hours at night cleaning the exterior common areas of an apartment complex. Not only will I not be able to replace all of my wife's income, I'll be using every spare second and ounce of energy I have just to break even. To add insult to injury, I found out today that my boss at my main job either lied to me or got false information himself. At the beginning of the year he told me I would be able to take at least two weeks, maybe three just to integrate a newborn into our lives. He said I could take it paid, no issues. I assumed my company had parental leave. Nope, days before my wife is due he calls me up and tells me I can use whatever vacation time I have 8 hours and then take time off unpaid or come back to work. So here I am, working until I drop, and not being able to bond with my first child during the fleeting and important newborn stage. Exhibit A of why so many millennials and zoomers will never have kids. Millennials and Gen Z are selfishly refusing to have kids to fund their own lavish lifestyle. Major news publication. Don't do Uber and Lyft, they don't pay enough to even pay for the extra wear and tear and depreciation on your vehicle. If you really want to go that route, find a contract delivery services company, they will pay more. As a Canadian it blows my mind that there is no real maternity or paternity leave in the States. We get up to 18 months up here. Does your wife have short-term disability at work? Typically it covers 6 weeks for vaginal delivery, 8 weeks for C-section. If she has it, tell her to look into it now so she can get the necessary paperwork before she goes into labor. Usually it's only A of the base pay, but it sounds like anything would be better than nothing for you too. What state are you in? This is why I am very happy to be a New Yorker. NYSPFL is literally the best thing I've ever gotten in my adult life. The three months I got to be with my kid is time I won't get back. I think it's bullshit it's not a federal act we have people who vote against these programs BSA use it our raises moo taxes. I'm sorry things are so bad. If only the $200 billion pandemic relief funds that was stolen by scammers as it's being reported on the news, went to a FMLI program that will truly help the hard-working families in times like this. Can your family help? And maybe she could return a little earlier, I started work at two months postpartum with family help of course. Do you have him saying you could take two three weeks in writing? That's why I won't have kids. I can't fucking afford it. Hell, I can't even afford a house. But hey, we got guns right? Our capitalism, brought to you by the party of family fucking values. I honestly don't see a way for capitalism to not be full on unchecked evil without a socialist government protecting people from its abuses. A good reason to move to a blue state and vote Democrat, my cousin in Washington got a full month of paid paternity leave when his child was born, and his wife got a full year. I went back to work when my son was three weeks old. My husband was diagnosed with MS and having a severe first relapse and well needed money. Tell me you live in the US without telling me you live in the US. Keep voting those GOP guys in lol. Sucks OP but that's the reality of our country. For some reason, half the nation is proud to be poor and struggling. Always voting against their own interests and supporting the people they say they hate, the corporations. Sounds like unless you can cut expenses, she can't afford to take off three months. It sucks but that's the USA. I was back at work seven days after a C-section. It sucks but unfortunately it is reality. I hope you have supportive family. I'd have never made it without my parents' help. Try to be strategic with Lyft. 
Learn the peak times and peak areas. Work during sports events if you live close to an arena. Late nights on the weekends if you're close to the club scenes or drive to an area where you would be closer. Download an app and watch for when planes are landing. This way you can make more while working less. Good luck. This is America. Start voting blue and society will get better. Your boss definitely votes red. More proof that this country doesn't give a fuck about its people. Awful. America is cruel. Let this be a lesson to the younger people to not bring children into this. The US is a dumpster fire, fire, unless you're rich already. Same boat here man. Oh no that sounds like such a sad situation to be in good luck to you and your family. I'm sorry to hear of your troubles. I hope you have some form of support system because 8 hours isn't much especially for your wife, she will be very tired and needing time to heal and babies do not sleep on a schedule like adults. This will be a tough time for both you and your wife. Good luck and congratulations, I wish you the best. Man, as much as MA sucks the wife and I got 12 weeks paid off. You can also split it any way you want within the first year of the kid being born. It also covers a new foster kid or adoption. So sorry, but in the USA, having children and providing for them responsibly is only for the rich. I totally feel your pain, you are an average American as most people are in the States. Unfortunately for Reddit, you're going to get a lot of sorry to hear about your situation, but it seems most people here are loaded with money and are more concerned about their investment properties than having empathy. America is literally owned by corporations and other countries don't treat its citizens this way. I take it you don't live in California? We take a lot of flack from red states but we have labor laws and we also get maternity and paternity leave paid. I think 9 weeks at 60. Could be better. That's so horrible for you. Does your employer not have any humanity? I'm having a child in 3 months. My husband and I both work at the same place. I will be taking three months off also with the GVMNT giving me 40 of my wage as our unemployment covers maternity and my husband will be taking a week off to help out at the beginning. Our employer plans to pick up extra shifts himself to help cover for our time off. Mine turned 18 three months ago. Sometimes I wonder if I had fed him less and bonded more, would he become less of an asshole? Yay don't have kids. I'd kiff it's too late to tell you all. Sorry for your situation but it seems like you're not very good at foresight. You just assumed you'd get paid paternal leave on top of your normal PTO. Get real, there's no compassion like that in America. You didn't read your employee handbook. Did you even file your FMLA paperwork or are you just assuming they are going to let you take off? This is what our country has come to. This is what people go through right before the shit hits the fan and people break. I for one think we can give France a run for their money when it comes to protesting. Look up what local unions you have around you. Apply for a job there. Elon Musk, the world's richest man, is very worried about low below replacement birth rates but doesn't believe he or other billionaires should pay a fair of tax on their ungodly wealth to help remedy the situation. You proletarians just have to have more children to feed the capitalist machine. And quit your whining. This is fucking sick and so uniquely American. I'm sorry, man. As a Scandinavian, I'm mostly reading our anti-work to remind myself why it's important to fight the right-wing politicians who want to take away our rights. Like a year of state paid parental leave, generous non means tested child benefits, and subsidized child care. The funny thing is that people tell you, well, if you can't afford a kid, why would you have one? But also, those are the same people that are trying to get rid of sex education, protection, abortion, etc. It's fucking sad the society that we live in when we want to grow a family, but every system in place is against it. Kids are fucking expensive but they don't have to be. Our government and society has deemed it that way. No offense but did you not budget or factor any of this before deciding on having a baby? You assumed your company had parental leave? 
you hadn't checked this, 